to say, <laughs> if you will give me your indulgence for just a couple of seconds, um, I want to say a couple of things and then I'll let you go back to eating and, and, and drinking. I want to thank Nick Cooper for um, helping me gather up all the food that, you're, that you've been enjoying tonight. Thank you, Nick. And I want to thank all the folks at Blackbird, because this is such a great bar. Thank you, Blackbird. Thank you, Sean Vergara. Our food came from the Noe Valley Bakery in La Mediterranean, so thanks to them. Thanks to all the unwitting bar patrons who stumbled across the Team Mandelman reunion. Thank you, Carol Migdon, for all of your support. but among them are uh, Community College Board member John Rizzo. Thank you, John Rizzo. And newly appointed Commissioner Vince Courtney. Thank you, Vince Courtney. And we have many former chairs of the Democratic Party, Jane Morris and Linda Post here. Henny Kelly. And Henny Kelly was here. And a former chair of the Republican Party, <laughs> Jerry Faulkner. talk at you for very, very long, but I wanted to have this event tonight because I wanted to bring you all together and thank you so much for all that you did over the last year, more than a year, to make our campaign such an extraordinary, you can't hear. So, so we had a great campaign, and I want and I just wanted to thank everyone in this room who did so much for our campaign, but in particular, three people who gave well above and beyond. And they are Stephanie Ashley. She won't stand up, but she's amazing. Nathan Albee, who you all know because he organized you every Saturday, every night, and sent you out to talk to the voters of District 8. And I want to thank someone who you may not know, but who made such beautiful, amazing mail for us and helped us all the way along for the last several months, when I think you will notice our campaign got markedly stronger, and that is Mitchell Lester. Enough, and Tim Durning, who managed our finances, thanks to both of you. This was a tough year, a tough year for the Democratic Party, nationally and locally. It was a tough year for progressives, nationally and locally. We lost a whole bunch of races, and, and we lost in District 8. But this was an extraordinary effort, and I think everyone in this room should be really proud of what we were able to do. we were doing something cheeky. We were running against someone who had been a former chair of the Democratic Party who was known throughout the LGBT community, who was a super hard worker and already had abundant name recognition. And we started behind. And uh, even as far as, as this summer, in June we were 20 points behind. In September we were 20 points behind. Through the efforts of the people in this room, we closed 15 points of that gap. So you all your labor reached the progressive heart of District 8 and changed minds and got people out to vote. So you are all extraordinary. Now is the time for progressives to rebuild nationally and locally. And I'm excited that every single person in this room who gave so much over the last two years is going to continue to give. And you're going to get involved in your neighborhood organizations and your democratic clubs and you are going to take this your neighborhoods back and your city back. Because our values and our ideas are correct. We believe in a safety net that's strong enough to lift up our most vulnerable. We all believe in that. Everyone in this room. And we're going to convince our neighbors that they believe in that too. And we believe that neighborhoods are places
places where people live and enjoy delight and raise their children and make art and that they are not merely places to make profit for developers. Yeah. We don't mind developers, there are some developers in this room, we don't mind realtors, there are some realtors in this room, but there's no industry in this country that we trust to regulate itself and that includes the land development industry. So, thank you all. Stay involved. Join the District 8 Democratic Club if you live in District 8. And if you don't, find some other way to get involved over the next year or two. I think that we're going to do many more things together and I look forward to working with you in the future. Thank you very, very much.